for stopping by and checking out my video. I hope you're having a great day. Today I am super excited because today I'm going to talk about my July beauty obsessions and some kind of random ones which I'm excited about. I hope you are too. This is probably one of my favorite times of the month because everyone uploads their beauty videos on their monthly favorites. And let's be real, I like inspiration to give me ideas of what I need to lust for next. So it's just how it works. So. so I hope you're excited. I am too. So let's get talking about July beauty obsessions. So my first one, I am that girl that talks about my hair. Um, you just sort of have to accept it. I really like my hair. I like anything to do with girly stuff. So, you know, whatever. Um, so as you can see, I have this purple in my hair right now. It is fake. These are tape-in extensions. Trick, yeah. So I did take my extensions out this month and I did put this purple in. I really, really like it. I am, I probably haven't had this length of hair since I was in university and it is longer than I've ever had it in my adult life, so I'm pretty excited. So my next favorite is kind of random. If you know me at all, you know that I'm obsessed with songs that are like, obsessed. Life just is way better if you could be having a dance party while doing whatever it is you're doing, so I am obsessed. A couple months ago, I found the playlist 90s Gone Country, and I literally thought I was going to pee my pants because I was so excited. Like. Clint Black, Garth Brooks, um, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Oh my god, I'm going to see Nitty Gritty Dirt Band in October. I'm so excited! Oh. I also love the 90s crowd pleasing hits, and feeling good in the 90s is pretty good. And just when I felt like my 90s life could not get any better, I found the playlist 90s alt rock ballads. And there's just something about the nostalgia of when Lifehouse comes on, or Three Doors Down, um, Bare Naked Ladies. There's just something about it. And that's one of my favorite things about music is the fact that instantly whenever I hear that song I'm magically transported to where I first heard it or something that was magical when the song was playing and I really dig that so I've been obsessed with songs uh, for a long time but the 90s alt rock ballads playlist just put me over the edge so it's a gutter you should check it out. My next random favorite is this toothpaste. This is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel in Fresh Wave. And I've seen this commercial all the time with the dental hygienist that talks about this and it's so wonderful. And I was like, I wonder what all the hype is about. Like there's a whole commercial dedicated to this toothpaste. So when I ran out of toothpaste the last time, uh, this one was on sale and I was like, you know what, let's give it a whirl. First off, the thing that I like most about this, yes, I'm talking about a toothpaste. It's fun. But the thing that I like most about this bottle is that it's vacuum and the thing with my little hands is that I don't really squeeze things very well. So I don't I waste a lot of toothpaste because I can't squeeze the rest of the toothpaste out. So that's one thing that I'm really extra digging about this. So I really like it. And this toothpaste makes, makes my tongue tingly. So my first favorite in the beauty department is this Gerard Cosmetics uh, Color Your Smile Lip Gloss in Coral Craze. There was a deal on the Gerard Cosmetics website and it was three for 29. And these regularly are $24 each. So, you don't even need math to really think about what a good deal that is. Like, that's just common sense. So I ordered this one and two other ones and oh my word. Where has this lip gloss been all my life? It is so wonderful. And the fun part is, is that on the back of it, it has a mirror. And then, right, wait for it. It has a light. Now I'm gonna blind you with the light. My next favorite is a dry shampoo. Again, if you know me in life, I don't wash my hair if I don't have to. Betty's dry shampoo is probably my top dry shampoo in life. And you can trust me on that. I've tried a lot of them and I don't wash my hair. So when I say that this is the best one that I've tried, I'm not lying. If you do have darker hair, I would highly recommend the brunette one because when I had ombre and I had dark hair, um, it will leave more of a gray cast, I would say but it's definitely not the powdery white. So, Batiste really covers it all, so I would highly recommend it. My next favorite is this L'Oreal foundation. It's the Visible Lift Blur, and you know, I'm gonna be real, cause that's what I do here. 
I am closer to 30 than I am to 20, so you just gotta prepare for those kinds of things. And when these things say blur on it, why wouldn't you wanna love it? Anything that says it's gonna blur things, and I do have pores like in this area, I'm okay with So my color is light ivory, and I do mix this in with my It Cosmetic CC Cream because let's be honest, I, in a mad deep love affair with that CC Cream, I mix it with everything. And I just feel like it's perfection. Like they get along real well. I like them a lot. This is nice. Check it out. My next favorite is the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara. Dear Dior, where have you been all my life? I don't know. A few years back, oh, a while ago, I would say, I tried the regular, like, plain Dior Show mascara, and it sucks. Like, it's there's nothing special about it. Just go get a Revlon mascara. Nothing special. This guy, however, it's special. So I love mascara wands with like a curled wand, as you can see over there. And this mascara actually does curl. Like, it's pretty amazing. I really, really like this mascara. It does fan your lashes out, it lengthens, it separates, it does all those magical things that unicorns do to your eyelashes in this little tube. So I would highly recommend it. Yeah, you're going to be paying $35 for it, but worth every penny. The blush that I have been absolutely obsessed with is this one from Milani. Yeah, that's pink in there already. Right. This is probably like the hottest hot pink blush I've ever come across in my life. It is real hot. Um, but it's just perfect. Let's go with Delicio Pink. The, I, that's wrong, but what can you do? Delizioso. Oh, Delizia, Delizioso. Delizioso? <clears throat> Delizioso. Maybe that's how you say it? And last but not least, for eyeshadow, I have been completely obsessed with the eyeshadow look that I have on today. Oh my word. This eyeshadow look is just easy peasy lemon squeezy, like there's really nothing to it. I like it a lot. So the first part of it is this uh, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. So this is like basically a pressed pigment. So you open it up and it has this stopper inside. Don't throw that away. You want to keep that. So once you open it up, like look at that liquid gold, rose gold wonderfulness. Like, oh, stunning. So beautiful. I have it on my lids today. I felt weird doing this, but it's price you gotta pay. Mm. So to go along with that eyeshadow look, um, basically all you do is apply your eyeshadow primer and then buff a matte medium toned brown through the crease and then I like to pat the amber rush on with my finger I just feel like it just packs it on a little bit better and then I buff out the crease after I've patted it on so this Sony Kashuk ion neutral matte palette is the first eyeshadow that I've been using so this one right for here the first half of the month that is the eyeshadow that I've been using and for the second half of the month I've been using my Lorac Pro palette 2 and light brown and I are just having a love affair so light brown is right here it's just a nice matte brown I really like it sometimes to top it off I'll use the rosé color in my inner corner if I'm feeling fancy and if I'm feeling extra fancy, I put this plum color in my outer V corner area just because I like purple, as you can tell. And if I'm feeling extra, extra fancy, I buff in this nectar color uh, on the top of my crease. So that's how I work this palette so far. I dig it. I like it a lot. So those are my July beauty obsessions. I hope you enjoyed. I thoroughly like talking about makeup, obviously, so to round up my monthly favorites is a fun time, and I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. So that about does it for me. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Are you excited? I'm excited. I hope you're excited, because I'm excited. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Nice to see ya. Would you just work with me here, please? Hey everyone. Uh, hey everyone. No. 
serious. Serious business time. It's makeup time. What time is it? It's makeup time. It's that time of the month. Not that time. Jeez. Whoa. Which I have hit pan on. I get really excited when I hit pan on an eyeshadow. Don't know why, but you know, it just happens. Like, it smells good. I like it a lot. I took my extensions out last month and I, oh my word. Okay, so I've never had a baby, so I don't really know what I can reference this to, but I must say that having my extensions taken out this time, oh my word. Pain does not even like begin to even describe the feeling that I felt. I mean, whoa. We started taking them out and I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. And then I started crying. Well, in my brain, because I didn't want to cry because it's just hair extensions. But seriously, like so painful. And then I was stupid enough. I put them back in. I have four panels of hair in my my real head right now. What was I thinking? I think that's the stupidest idea I've had in a long time. But now I'm going to blind you with the light. Woo! 